Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis. I'm taking you through chemistry form uh, one. We are going to look at the following objectives. Stay tuned throughout the lesson. So, and to the goals of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will have been achieved, you will have achieved the following. You will define an acid, you will state the properties of acids, and you'll be able to list down the uses of acids. So what is an acid? Uh, there are various uh, definitions of acids. An acid can be defined as, according to Alhinius, a substance that dissociates in water, forming hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions. According to Bronsted and Lowley, it's defined as, an, as a proton donor. So what are the properties of acids? Let's look at the following. Number one, action of acid on metals. Acids react with metals, forming salt and hydrogen gas. Are we together? Action of acid on metals form salt and hydrogen gas. So the following setup can be used to illustrate how acids react with metals. For instance, we have uh, a delivery tube uh, in which we have a uh, uh, dilute sulfuric acid in a boiling tube and zinc granules and we can correct that the gas produced we can correct it using uh, over water method and uh, when ignited the gas burns with a pop sound and this indicates that the gas produced is uh, hydrogen gas so general properties uh, we can we can have a general chemical equation uh, a metal reacts with an acid to form salt and hydrogen gas. For instance, zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Magnesium reacts with nitric acid to give us magnesium nitrate and hydrogen gas. And we have aluminium with sulfuric acid to give us aluminium sulfate and hydrogen gas. How do they react with bases? Acids react with bases forming salt and water. This type of reaction is referred to as neutralization. Examples include sodium oxide plus hydrochloric acid gives us sodium chloride plus water. Magnesium oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to give us magnesium chloride and water as the products. And lastly, we have copper 2 oxide which reacts with hydrochloric acid to give us copper 2 chloride and water as the products. So what is the what what about reaction with carbonates? Acids react with carbonate to form salt water and carbon dioxide. Example may include calcium carbonate, commonly referred to as marble, reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to give us a white precipitate which is basically calcium chloride, which is lightly soluble in water. Uh, we have water and carbon four oxide. So uh, if for us to confirm that the gas produced is carbon four oxide is passed through lime water, which is calcium hydroxide, and it reacts with carbon four oxide to give us calcium carbonate. And that confirms that the gas produced is carbon four oxide. And on to the summary of the chemical equations or the uh, characteristics of uh, the properties of metals and acids. Basically, acids react with bases to give us salt and water. Uh, the example here we have reaction between potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid which gives us uh, potassium sulfate and sodium chloride and water respectively. We also have reaction between calcium hydroxide and nitric acid which gives us calcium uh, nitrate and water. Then uh, we can basically say that it's important for you to realize that uh, not all uh, chemical equations give us the products that we have mentioned there because the product formed have different chemical properties. For instance, a uh, reed metal cannot react with hydrochloric acid because the reaction stops immediately it starts due to the formation of a coat of uh, reed 2 chloride which is insoluble. So what are some of the uses of metals? From this chart you can see that um, 
uh, some of the uses of these uh, acids, sorry, not metals, some of the uses of these acids include uh, for digestion in our stomach, hydrochloric acid is necessary in the manufacture of medicine. We also have manufacture of dyes and rust scale from metals and in the manufacture of rubber. Some of these acids can be used in various ways. So let's look at the foreign, complete the foreign word equation. Uh, zinc plus sulfuric acid gives us what products? Uh, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives us what product? Uh, can we state some of the uses of acids that have improved the living standards of man in different ways? And how can the gas produced when acids react with metals be tested? Uh, for, more is, uh, for more of this information, you can refer to Chemistry Students Book 1 or give us a message through the numbers on your screen. Visit our Facebook or uh, YouTube page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis, and please stay tuned to more lessons to come.